confusing. They don't seem to understand all they're doing is driving more average Americans into the Trump camp and in, into the silent majority. It's offensive that they don't love their country. It's offensive that they don't respect our democracy, our constitution. This country's not perfect. It's only the best place on the face of the earth. Uh, the democratic experiments is not ideal. It's not perfect, but we have more freedom than any place else on the globe. Joining us via Skype on the eve of his testimony tomorrow on the whole Russiagate garbage is Roger Stone. Why this is so important is they've done this to a lot of different people that have gone public. You go in, it's secret. Then they put out fake news. They may say Roger Stone says he's a Russian agent. Roger will run out because they'll do it right when he goes in. They, they, uh, uh, they've done this to Caputo and a bunch of other folks. So that's why Roger is going to put out a statement to Infowars.com exclusively right before he goes in. And we're going to have our own reporter there to actually get a live feed and record what he really says so we can have it out versus the media editing it up. We did that to Megan Kelly, and it defeated her. But we've got to be on this because they're desperate. Uh, they've already tried to kill him twice ahead of this. So I think she'll be very, very safe, very, very careful the next 24 hours. This is a lot of marbles are riding on this. Uh, Roger Stone, thank you for joining us. Alex, uh, thank you so much for letting me jump in here today. I'm hunkered down with my lawyers. Uh, I've changed lawyers. I was with the firm of Ketchum and Fleesum, but I've moved to the firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. Only kidding. Uh, I've got really <laughs> fine lawyers, uh, and we're we're really prepared. Now, the mainstream media assault on me has already begun. A particularly dishonest piece uh, on CNN by some scumbag named Michael Weiss, full of inaccuracies, partial quotes, selective quotes, things taken out of context, what you expect from CNN. Also, a particularly vicious piece by the left-wing fake news site, Raw Story. So um, they are they're circling the wagons because they know that I will be on offense, that I will expose Congressman Adam Schiff as the demagogic charlatan that he is, and there will be no holds barred. Now, in order to guard against exactly what you describe, and precisely what happened to my colleague, Michael Caputo, because they won't allow public access to the hearing, because they will not allow the media in the room, because they will not release the transcript, I'm going to record my statement exclusively for Infowars.com, and we will put it up at about the time that the hearings kick off. So you'll be able to see what really is going to transpire. And then immediately afterwards, I will interview with our embedded uh, cameraman from InfoWars to be able to give a, a, uh, a blow by blow description of what I'm calling the romp in the swamp. The California kid, the prevaricator, the proven liar, Adam Schiff versus Roger Stone. Well, I know you're relishing this, and you really wanted to do it live, but at recessions, mop the floor with them and the rest of it. They are scared to have any of these hearings. But as you said with Caputo, they then put out stuff he never said. When the transcript letter came out, it was true. He never said those things. They are a pack of disingenuous scum. I mean, we already know that. We already know there is no evidence to give them. Now they've not fully moved on from Russia, but they're on fumes. That's why they're admitting, oh, now it's didn't pay your taxes or didn't fill out a form properly or SWAT teaming somebody. Even CNN admits that uh, that this whole fake Russia investigator situation with Mueller is, quote, very unorthodox, very aggressive. Many others are calling it illegal uh, what they're doing. So they've really not wanted you to testify so far. They kept canceling the other events when it was going to be in public because they're so scared. What are they scared of, Roger? Because, again, as they run out of gas here uh, and, and, and now as they move on to financial crimes, uh, what do you expect to happen? Well, I think what they're afraid of, Alex, is I'm going to call their bluff. Let's go through the big three allegations. One, Stone knew about the hacking of Podesta's email in advance. No, I didn't. I never said anything of the kind, even anything remotely close of that to that. Now, the Panama Papers, published in January of last year, 
completely expose Podesta's shady business dealings with the Russians. Guess what? Roger Stone can read. That's how I knew. And that's what I meant when I referred to Podesta's time in the barrel, specifically that his shady business dealings with the oligarchs around Vladimir Putin would come under public scrutiny. Second charge, Stone knew in advance about the WikiLeaks disclosures of Hillary. Yeah, they were posted in their Twitter feed on July 21st. This was August that I predicted it. Now, did I have a, a source confirm for me directly with WikiLeaks that this was coming before I said it? Yes, I did. That makes me smart, not dumb. And then lastly, there is the phony charge that I colluded with Goosefer 2.0. But if one looks at the actual exchange, which happened six weeks after the WikiLeaks posted the material from the DNC, you'll see that it's benign. Uh, so based on timing, content, and context, this is a MacGuffin. This is uh, meaningless. By the way, does Guccifer 2.0 really exist? Is that really a person? Uh, was he really a hack? In fact, was there ever really a hack? Of but the Roger, DNC? the whole thing's been a nothing burger. And I remember you at the time, we were trying to get a hold of Assange. Assange did New York Times, London Guardian, Fox News interviews, talking to Assange doesn't mean you're a Russian agent, saying, hey, Podesta's known for his Russia ties, and then quoting New York Times articles from a year before with Hillary's Russia problem. I mean, you were just talking about what was there, hyping it up for people to investigate it. Sure, but I think because of my reputation as a fierce partisan and as an opinion journalist, particularly here at InfoWars, they think it's a, it's an easy sell. In other words, if something shady happens, Stone must have been involved. We're going to straighten that all out tomorrow morning, and I will have these running dogs in retreat, I assure you. Well, their Russian narrative is already starting to implode, so this is, I guess, the cherry on top. But what about the fact that They've already told uh, your former business associate, uh, Manafort, that they've got the indictment. Yeah, this is a classic um, prosecutor's trick. In other words, try to find something or maybe find nothing, turn it into something. All right, Manafort, we're going to indict you for money laundering or tax evasion or whatever, unless, of course, you just confess that you were colluding with the Russians and that Donald Trump knew everything. So in other words, bear false witness against our president, lie uh, to let get yourself off the hook. Judas Iscariot. Yeah, John Dean, essentially, because John Dean is the man who planned, pushed, covered up the Watergate break-in and then blamed it on Richard Nixon. It's the same deal. Absolutely. Roger Stone's our guest testifying in Congress tomorrow. They won't even bring in a cell phone. He can't even record it, but you know those dirty rats are going to come out and lie to the media. Hell, CNN, the rest of them may not even have Roger on. That's how they operate now. They just make up straw men, then they beat up the straw man and declare that they beat Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, final segment. And then, Matt Dubiel, really smart guy, manager of our Chicago affiliate, known him for eight, nine years now. Visited me a few times in Austin. Amazing. He's going to be hosting. He's got some big stuff planned for Chicago. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> It'll make the news. But uh, he's coming up. Roger, I know you don't want to give away too much today. So we're just going to have you on live right after the hearing tomorrow. And, of course, your statement will go up on Infowars.com right as you go in. Uh, and I guess you're going to tape that statement today uh, with us and also give us a written statement. But... Any other little tidbits you want to add? Tell folks again what time the hearing is. This is this is game day. And then expanding, what do you make of the left, like David Horowitz said earlier, not knowing when to stop and going up against the American flag and, and America and the, now they're on CNN and MSNBC saying, get rid of the flag, it's white supremacist, get rid of the Star Spangled Banner. I mean, we knew that was coming, but I mean, don't all the minorities get, I know they're not the ones really running this. I mean, I, literally. Like, you're America. It's yours. It's 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 big. It's prosperous. It's still one of the best places ever to be able to do whatever you want. What You live here, you get rich here, and then you piss all over it? It's the most spoiled, rotten crap I've ever seen. 
thing. They don't seem to understand all they're doing is driving more average Americans into the Trump camp and in, into the silent majority. It's offensive that they don't love their country. It's offensive that they don't respect our democracy, our constitution. This country's not perfect. It's only the best place on the face of the earth. Uh, the democratic experiments is not ideal. It's not perfect. But we have more freedom than any place else on the globe. So it, it's self-defeating. Alex, I do want to mention that um, a number of info warriors and uh, the blacks for Trump are having a pro-Stone demonstration at 8.15 tomorrow morning. The hearing is at 9. Now, the Capitol Hill police uh, won't let any civilians get anywhere near this hearing. So this is being held on Independence Avenue, directly across from the, ha from the House wing of the Capitol, right there on Independence Avenue. Uh, and I'm going to stop there on my way in. M4s will be covering it. And I'll have a, a few words for the patriots there who are rallying uh, to support me. And, and we're going to have a live feed of I that. We're going to have a live feed of that with our great Michael Zimmerman, who's with you. Uh, yeah, I expect it to be uh, a dynamic moment, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate not only the support, but also the fact that Infowar is going to be able to bring it, bring it to the people. And by the way, Roger, you're a smart guy. I don't have to tell you this, but I'd give them both barrels your big finale up front, what you're really going to say inside, not just the statement, but, you know, Roger Stone tears into fake committee. Roger Stone destroys fake committee at the Capitol video because that video, we're not going to clickbait. It's you at the Capitol, but Roger Stone destroys committee live, you know, or, yeah, or, or destroys false Russian narrative. And then that video will go viral. And I would go as long as you can, because I mean, that's, that's a video that millions are going to end up watching live or tuning into, you know, Roger Stone's press conference from the Capitol. And then I do it before and after I'd really make an extravaganza out of it uh, because this is how we grab the spotlight away from these liars. Well, Alex, uh, don't you worry. As my friend Pat Buchanan would say, I will be locked and loaded. All right, Roger, we'll be covering it live. It'll be at newswars.com and infowars.com. Thank you, Roger. Alex, victory or death? In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.